Now driving with the paddle shifters is probably a little bit intimidating, but it doesn't have to be. Now I'm gonna break it down for you guys in simple terms and make this super simple and super quick for you to learn how to drive with paddle shifters because it's really not that bad. I promise, I promise, it's gonna be easy. I'll slap on the GoPro and do the POV so you guys can see exactly what we're gonna be doing. But basically all you're gonna need to know, left is gonna be your downshift, right is gonna be your upshift, just the same as down here when you have it into an automatic into manual mode. And then up here on the dash, once I turn the car on, you'll see that there are RPMs and and that's all you're gonna need to focus on. I just wanna preface this by saying, do not worry about your miles per hour. Don't worry about how fast you have to be going or what you're gonna be doing or anything like that. Just worry about your RPMs. That's all it's gonna matter. And once you understand that and once you focus on that, then you're good to go, baby. I will note that a lot of people asked me in my previous video, do you have to take your foot off the gas when you are shifting? Since it is an automatic, you don't have to. It's not like a manual where you're gonna be pulling your foot off the, or putting your foot into the clutch, pulling off the gas, you know, et cetera, et cetera. It's just an automatic, so it's gonna be fine. And I also want to say that there are a lot of fail safes on these automatic vehicles that do have paddles or uh, manual shifters, then uh, you're going to be good. You're going to be good. It's not going to let you mess up. It's going to do warnings. It's going to uh, automatically shift itself. It's not going to let you break your transmission that bad. So don't worry about it. Go ahead and have some fun. Now, in most vehicles, all you have to do is click the paddle to turn it on. And I'm going to go ahead and just say to turn it off, just hold the right one. Most cars, it's going to be how it turns it off. But yeah, that's going to activate the paddle shifters without your car being in manual mode. Now, if you click over to the side just like this it'll pop it into manual mode most cars are like this most are the same now switch to the gopro so i can show you guys an actual pov and go for a little drive here and show you what you need to know because it's really not too complicated and uh yeah it's, it's pretty simple I, I promise you got this go ahead have some confidence have some fun and let's jump in. all right it. so now that we're into the gopro here just get driving in automatic mode like i said let's let's get on the road and feel where it's shifting and uh pay attention to the rpm let's get out on the main road here and you can see here it's around the 2700 rpms or so that it's shifting from like second to third. So we're gonna get out here onto the main road where we can actually send this thing a little bit more and let's pop it into paddle mode. So now we're in third, you see, it's not shifting until you click it. So kind of gives you an idea of like what you're gonna be doing. It's gonna just keep going up in the RPMs and obviously not shift because it's like a manual mode. It's, you know, you have to shift it. So if you notice that in the automatic mode, it's usually around 2000 to 3000 RPM. So that 2500 RPM range is where it's gonna be shifting. Now, like I said, I, pay attention to the RPMs. Don't worry about your miles per hour because I know a lot of people were asking previously if you should be shifting at this RP or this miles per hour or what, but you don't have to worry about that. That's not what you're focused on. You're focused on the RPMs because that's when you're gonna be shifting. So as we're coming up to a red light here, but you're just gonna go ahead and just, you know, drop some downshifts. Just like that. And you can see all I did there is I held the left paddle down and it will drop into the lowest possible gear that you can shift into. And uh, yeah, you just floor it from there and uh, watch it for the red line. Have a little bit of fun and you'll really feel it uh, really feel it kick up. So you see here, like we come to a stop. I should have downshifted more there, but when you downshift, that's where you're able to get the higher RPMs, which equals more power and more responsiveness. You'll notice this if you're in automatic mode and you go ahead and slam on your gas, it's going to drop it into the lowest gear possible or just shift it down. So if we go ahead uh, and drive over here, but you can see there, you can do little pulls. You can have a lot of fun with it. What was this, a clapped car meet over here? Like, did I miss it? I, like, I got a clapped SRT, baby. There was a bunch of clapped cars driving by. Oh, there was definitely a clapped car meet going on over here. Look at that. So many clapped cars. All right, guys. So anyways, you drop it down. You only want to shift around the 2,000 to 3,000 RPM if you're in sport mode. A lot of cars will shift around that 2,000 RPM mark if you're just in a normal vehicle. So uh, if you're not in a sport mode or something like that, then you're probably not going to be shifting. Uh, or anything like that. But yeah, it looks like there was some sort of car meet over here that just ended. So, oh, there's a nice McLaren it looks like right there actually. The rest are pretty clapped, but. but yeah, like I said guys, there's not really that much to it. It's pretty much just paying attention to when you need to shift and when you don't need to shift. Now it's gonna vary depending on your modes. Like they're gonna have different shift points of when they're supposed to be shifted. You can kind of play with that. Just make sure you don't go into that red area. You know, you don't wanna redline it too much. That's where you're gonna really mess things up and it's gonna kind of be bad for you. But yeah, just pay attention to it and you should be good. It's like I said, fairly simple, really fun to do, especially if you guys get a nice open road, you can have a lot of fun with it. Go under bridges, do some downshifts, you know, have some have some fun with it. Like I said, there's a bunch of different options, a bunch of different things that you can do. So yeah, like right here, we're coming down to uh, slow down and I'm at about 1500 RPM, so I can actually downshift. I can downshift a couple times actually. You can hear it, you can feel it, and just pay attention to those things and you, you'll be good. And yeah, it's fun, it's a good time. Enjoy it, Yeah, just enjoy it. 